Welcome and welcome back, savvy viewers. Today, we're diving into the murky waters of environmental hazards. Environmental hazards refer to any substance, condition, or activity that poses a threat to the surrounding environment, including air, water, soil, wildlife, and including ecosystems, wildlife, and human health. These hazards can stem from natural events, such as earthquakes, hurricanes, or volcanic eruptions, as well as human activities, such as pollution, deforestation, or climate change. On the other hand, workplace environmental hazards specifically refer to risks and dangers present in a work environment that can negatively impact the health and safety of employees. These hazards can include exposure to toxic chemicals, unsafe working conditions, poor ventilation, loud noises, ergonomic risks, and inadequate personal protective equipment. Workplace environmental hazards can lead to injuries, illnesses, or long-term health issues among workers if not properly managed and mitigated. Let's talk about it in a separate video. Going back to the environmental hazard in general, environmental hazards have a broader scope encompassing natural and human-induced threats to the environment at large. Examples of environmental hazards include Air pollution Emissions from vehicles' industrial activities and power plants can release pollutants such as particulate matter, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxides, leading to respiratory issues, acid rain, and smog formation. Water pollution Contamination of water bodies from agricultural runoff, industrial discharges, and improper waste disposal can result in toxic chemicals, pathogens, and nutrients entering water sources, impacting aquatic life and human health. Deforestation. Clearing of forests for agriculture, logging, and urban development can disrupt ecosystems, reduce biodiversity, and contribute to soil erosion, climate change, and loss of habitats for wildlife. Climate change. Greenhouse gas emissions from burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial processes contribute to global warming, leading to rising sea levels, extreme weather events, and shifts in ecosystems that threaten biodiversity and human communities. Hazardous waste. Improper handling and disposal of toxic substances, such as heavy metals, pesticides, and radioactive materials, can contaminate soil, water, and air, posing risks to human health, wildlife, and ecosystems. Conducting an environmental hazard risk assessment is a crucial component of effective environmental management. The process involves a systematic evaluation of potential hazards that could pose risks to the environment, human health, or other organisms. Since its scope is so broad, following are sources of environmental hazards which may be present in the area of interest to consider. Identify and characterize the different types of environmental hazards present in the area of interest considering both natural and anthropogenic sources. Natural sources of environmental hazards include earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, wildfires, hurricanes, flooding, tsunamis, and avalanches. These events can lead to widespread destruction of ecosystems, loss of biodiversity, displacement of communities, and contamination of air, water, and soil. Additionally, natural processes such as erosion, weathering, and wildfires can also contribute to environmental hazards by altering landscapes and causing ecological imbalances. It is crucial for societies to understand and prepare for these natural hazards through effective land use planning, early warning systems, disaster response strategies, and ecosystem restoration efforts to mitigate their impact on the environment and human populations. Anthropogenic sources of environmental hazards refer to those originating from human activities. These include Industrial pollution, emissions from factories, power plants, and manufacturing facilities release harmful pollutants into the air, water, and soil, contributing to air pollution, water contamination, and soil degradation. Deforestation, cutting down forests for agriculture, logging, and urban development destroys habitats, contributes to climate change by reducing carbon absorption, and increases the risk of landslides and flooding. Agricultural practices, the use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides in agriculture contaminates water sources, harms biodiversity, 
and contributes to soil erosion and degradation. Urbanization Urban sprawl results in the destruction of natural habitats, increased air and water pollution, and higher energy consumption for transportation and buildings. Mining activities Extracting minerals and metals through mining leads to soil erosion, water contamination, habitat destruction, and the release of toxic substances into the environment. Waste generation, improper disposal of solid waste, hazardous waste, and electronic waste pollutes the environment, contaminates water sources, and contributes to land and air pollution. Transport, emissions from vehicles, ships, and aircraft release pollutants such as greenhouse gases, particulate matter, and nitrogen oxides, contributing to air pollution and climate change. Energy production, burning fossil fuels for energy generation releases greenhouse gases, contributing to global warming, air pollution, and acid rain. Generally, anthropogenic sources of environmental hazards stem from human activities that prioritize short-term gains over long-term environmental sustainability, leading to a range of negative impacts on ecosystems, biodiversity, and human health. Addressing these sources requires a shift towards more sustainable practices and policies that prioritize environmental protection and conservation. Conducting an environmental hazard risk assessment is a multifaceted process that requires a systematic and thorough approach to effectively identify, evaluate and manage potential risks. Overall, understanding and addressing environmental hazards are crucial for ensuring the sustainability of our planet and the well-being of current and future generations. And that's a wrap. Until next time, stay safe out there. Safety Talk Point signing out.